this video I would like to discuss the last non-price determinant of demand which is going to be complementary products or complements. So basically in the case of complements in my video I want to use the example of tea kettles and tea and complements would mean that these products have to be used together they cannot be used separately at least this is the assumption of course kettles could be used for boiling other things than tea but we will consider for the sake of the example that these are specific tea kettles and they are used to produce to boil to make the tea now with that being said let's see what happens on the demand curve of the tea after there is a change in the price of one of these complementary products so that being said let's start suppose that here on the left side we have the demand curve for tea kettles and we have an initial p1 price okay an initial price of p1 let me just highlight it and a corresponding initial quantity of q1 suppose now that tea kettles become more expensive so p1 changes to p2 suppose the price increases to p2 for tea kettles and therefore at the price level of p2 we have a corresponding quantity of q2 now what does that mean it means that the quantity demanded for tea kettles decreases this is going to affect the demand curve for the tea because tea is complementary to tea kettles so if there is a change in the quantity demanded for tea kettles meaning that the tea kettles decreased in quantity there is a movement along the curve for the tea kettles this will cause a shift in the demand curve for tea to the left because the demand curve for t will decrease so this will shift to the left over here which is going to be d2 okay if this is d1 as the original demand for t d2 is going to be the shifted demand curve for t because the complementary product necessary to consume the t has fallen okay in demand there is less demand for t kettles and as a result of it the demand curve for t falls as well meaning that at a given price level over here we will have less quantity demanded for t than we used to have before before we used to have q1 over here whereas now we will only have q2 so what i want to make sure you understand from this video is that on the first demand curve of the first product which is the tea kettles in this case we have a movement along the curve okay we have a movement along the curve from one price level to another price level whereas in the graph on the graph for the other complementary product which is the t in this case we will have a shift of the demand curve because of the change in the quantity demanded of t kettles hope this all makes sense i appreciate you all watching if you like the video please make sure to subscribe and we are done